This video is all about how we can understand stories at their very basic level. And the ideas we're gonna talk about are plot structure and conflict because these are the two things that drive good stories forward. Without them, stories are flat, boring, nothing. So I want you to think of a story you know really well. This could be a book you loved as a kid, a movie you watch all the time, or a video game with a great story. The first thing that we're gonna talk about is conflict because this drives everything. The idea behind conflict is there are two for uh, forces against each other. This idea that a character wants something, but there's something getting in their way. Some way that I help remember it is with this image. There's clearly a goal that this little creature wants, but the conflict means there's something keeping them back from their goal. Now there's a couple ways to think about this. And there's two types of conflict, two major types of conflict. One is called external conflict. This means that the thing holding the character back is outside of themselves. This might mean they're fighting with another character. Maybe society is keeping them from their goal. Maybe there's a giant storm and it's trying to kill them. But this idea that there's something outside the character keeping them from what they want. A lot of times we see this in movies when there's two characters fighting, maybe a hero and a villain or just two characters against each other. The other type of conflict is called internal conflict. And it's this idea that the thing holding the character back is inside their own mind. They might doubt themselves. They might have a hard time making a decision but the conflict is inside their own mind. It might look like this for them where they have a hard time deciding. A key is that stories can have multiple conflicts. There's usually one key conflict that drives the story forward, but good stories might have external and internal conflicts and might have multiple of each. So look for the key conflict, but always pay attention to, to any other conflicts you might see. So I want you to pause and think about the story you chose at the beginning. What type of conflict does it use? Now let's talk about how conflict drives the story forward. And to do that, we're gonna talk about plot structure. So here's how conflict drives the plot forward. Think about Star Wars with no conflict. You just have Luke Skywalker, he's born, grows up, lives happily ever after with his dad, who's a good, nice guy named Anakin. Boring. Or what about Batman with no conflict? Bruce Wayne's a billionaire. He pays a ton of money, cleans up the city. Everybody works together. Nobody tries to stop them. We all live happily ever after. Boring. So conflict makes stories interesting. Here's a plot structure that shows how conflict drives stories forward. Now, this is an example of a really basic plot structure that a lot of people call the witch's hat, but it's made up of five elements. You have exposition, rising action, the climax of the story, falling action, and then a resolution. Let's talk about each one quickly. The exposition is where things are introduced. We meet characters, we get to know the setting, and we start to learn what the conflict might be. Typically, we learn what the character wants. During the rising action, the conflict really builds. Things are happening where uh, the force against the character is showing up more and more. It gets worse and worse for their, our main character. During the climax is when they really address the conflict head on. It's often called the turning point because the character decides to do something about the conflict. Then the falling action happens with just shows after the climax, what happens? What's the result of that decision or action? And the resolution is how does everything turn out? So quickly to review, conflict is what a character wants versus what's in their way, two opposing forces. There are two major types of conflict to be looking for. One is internal inside the character or two is external outside of the character. And the last thing to think about is plot structure and it includes five elements exposition, rising action, climax, falling action, and resolution. Now these are all very basic, great writers, great storytellers mix these up and change things up, but these are all the basic elements you need to know to not only analyze and interpret stories, but to create good ones of your own. 